I'm sure that a whole bunch of you know all too well who NBA Youngboy is, but did you know that his cousin is also a part of his Never Broke Again crew? Going by the name NBA Ben 10, this young man has been swept up into his cousin's lifestyle, and I mean that for both good and bad. He's been there for his cousin since day one, growing up in the streets of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and whenever Youngboy would get himself into trouble, I mean, so would Ben. Now, only about eight months after Youngboy was arrested on an FBI warrant and placed in prison, NBA Ben 10 is making his musical debut on Never Broke Again, the compilation volume one, which features him alongside some other associates like No Cap, Quando Rondo, Big B, and many, many more. But the question remains, not the least of which is, who is Ben 10 really? And is he about to make as much of an impact as his world famous cousin? Those answers and more on our latest episode of Before They Were Famous. NBA Ben 10 was born Benjamin Fields on December 13, 1999 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Now a lot of people online will try and tell you that Ben 10 is NBA Youngboy's brother, but as best as I can tell you, that is not the case. The two are in fact cousins. As far as like just you, I, B, 3, how that came about? Man, man, three first cousins, blood, like, we used to stay together. His mom and mom used to live together, so that's how I met three. This shit, YB. Uh, I met that nigga when they one day at three hours. Shit. I met that nigga, shit. We had a fight the same day, you heard me? And shit, we had a fight. We spoke the plan, you heard me? And shit, I became part of NBA the same day. Prior to joining up with his cousin, Ben spent most of his early days helping with his actual older brother, with trapping around the streets on the south side of Baton Rouge, and selling weed all throughout high school. See, I can say that I'm not doing shit more. But at first, nigga was trapping, you feel me? I wasn't really trapping, but my brother was trapping. And I, and I just do other shit like, to get money. Most of us will probably remember that young boy was raised in North Baton Rouge by his grandmother before dropping out of school in the ninth grade to start rapping with a microphone that he picked up from Walmart. After getting arrested for robbery and sent to a detention center around the same age, once young boy returned home, his grandmother would sadly pass away from heart failure. At that point, he moved in with his oldest half-brother, NBA 3-3, and the two took to hustling on the city streets to pay for some studio time, and this is right around the time that NBA Ben 10 entered the picture. Like, I went from going to every city each night, doing what the f*** I want, not worrying about police at all, none, none of that, to being back in that wreck, riding from scraps, you hear me? Like, man, that's crazy, cause man, that road life is something serious. Now, Youngboy and Ben 10 weren't the best of friends right off the bat, but after throwing hands, they made peace over a blunt, and then Ben 10 joined the Never Broke Again crew just at the age of 12. Early on throughout Youngboy's rise to fame, you could say that Ben 10 acted kind of like his videographer. If fans really wanted to get a taste of Youngboy's lifestyle and what he was all up to, all they had to do was head over to Ben's Instagram account, at MGNG10X, to check out all kinds of candid snaps and clips that showed the whole Never Broke Again crew taking over the industry. But the thing about Youngboy Boy is, the more famous he got, the more trouble seemed to follow him. Even after he signed a $2 million contract with Atlantic in 2016, he couldn't keep his nose clean, and more often than not, it would result in him bringing members of his own crew down with him. For instance, in 2017, Youngboy was arrested on two counts of attempted first-degree murder for his role in a non-fatal drive-by shooting. Want to know who was alongside with him? I mean, who else do you think? NBA Ben 10. In fact, Ben 10 was even pinpointed by police as the primary shooter in the attack. Well, at least at first. Court records show that while being detained in prison after the course of these events, Ben did make a call to an associate who was reportedly under the age of 17 and asked the kid to fess up for being the actual shooter. This individual then changed their story from originally pointing at Ben as the primary attacker, then placing the blame firmly on themselves. Both Ben and Youngboy had been charged with attempted first-degree murder, but after this reversal, they would plead guilty to lesser charges of aggravated assault with a firearm and receive a suspended 10-year prison sentence plus probation. Then in May of 2019, Youngboy and his girlfriend were involved in a shooting in which Youngboy's girlfriend caught a bullet and an innocent bystander was killed. Youngboy returned fire and was eventually arrested. While Youngboy's charges for the shooting were ultimately dismissed, he was still found to be in violation of parole. Why? Because he was hanging out with NBA Ben 10 at the time of the attack, which due to their prior associations with one another was a big no-no. Once Sunny Isles officers responded to the scene is when they discovered multiple vehicles that were shot at and were impacted. 
And during their immediate preliminary search is when they discovered that there's a black suburban on the southbound lanes of Collins Avenue. And uh, there was a female, 19-year-old black female that was inside suffering from apparent gunshot wound to the upper extremities. Young boy was then ordered to spend 90 days in jail and banned from performing for the next 14 months. He was also sentenced to house arrest with electronic monitoring for the remainder of his probation. A short time later, NBA Ben 10 was himself arrested on gun charges. A police report stated that in September of 2020, Ben received a Palmetto State Armory Model PA-15 556 caliber pistol, which he was still under indictment for a felony. Ben's eventual arrest for this crime was part of a massive 16 person sting operation in which, you guessed it, NBA Youngboy was at the center of once again. And while Youngboy might have had been released soon after, this time Ben 10 would spend close to a year behind bars. So if it's not already becoming crystal clear to you, then let me make it clear the Never Broke Again crew is aggressively being targeted by federal authorities and their prior slip ups are coming back to haunt them in big, big ways. Youngboy was even arrested again in March of 2021 after a high speed chase with police ended in epic fashion, with police looking to bring him in on further charges from the September 2020 arrest. Rather than give up peacefully, Youngboy led authorities on a foot chase with a canine unit having to be called before police finally found him and placed him behind bars, where he remained ever since. Meanwhile, Ben was released from prison in September of 2021, but somehow wound up back under arrest in only six days. Thankfully for Ben, he was able to post bail super quickly and get right back out again. But at this point, I think the entire Never Broke Again crew really needs to be aware of the FBI's Never Free Again operation. Yes, that's really what they're calling it. He's put a target firmly on all of their backs and they need to start moving very, very carefully. The biggest irony in all of this, even behind bars, Youngboy and the Never Broke Again crew were as popular as ever. In September of this year, they partnered with the legendary label Motown Records. They released their first ever compilation album, Never Broke Again, Volume 1, Ain't Too Long 2, featuring every member of their crew, including NBA Ben 10, with his very own interlude. My best guess is that this project was a way for Youngboy to take responsibility for his crew and not leave them hanging out in the wind and while he works on his very serious legal problems, which are still very much in progress. At least now that he's working on his musical acumen, Ben 10 can potentially forge a career for himself on his own if his days of documenting the Never Broke Again crew are truly behind him. We'll see how this story shakes out as it continues. After all, this is before they were famous. My name is Clyde Smith, and if you guys enjoyed this look at the come up of NBA Ben 10, then please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video.